So we start as always from the black primer and now we're grabbing our retributor gold and painting the whole miniature probably two coats gonna be enough. Just paint it all gold. Okay, our base coat ready, now it's time for washing. Grab your Gilliman flesh and add a few drops of medium and using this mix cover the whole miniature. Now we need to dry brush some. So grab a piece of cork, grab your dry brush and grab Retributor Gold Armor, go for Sigmarite dry paint, also grab your Stonehouse Silver, maybe because I switch up later, go for Necron Compound, which is also a dry paint. Okay, so grab the Retributor Gold Armor, and put some on your cork, work off the excess of the paint on the, on the palette, and now start moving all around the miniature. We want to get this shiny gold back again on the all, all of the most raised edges. Okay, it's a dry brush stage two. So grab your Sigma Right dry paint and go lighter with this one. Grab only the most raised part of the model. Okay, now it's time for the final stage. This is the most gentle dry brush we'll do. So just get some Necron compound on your dry brush and apply it only in the most raised corners and in the parts that will be like naturally scratched, you know, like it's worn armor. Okay, so now we're painting the second main color on the custodies, so the red ponytail. Grab your Mephiston red and give it a good base coat of this one here on Aquila and also on your helmet. So if we want to add some depth to the color, grab your Black Angels Red contrast paint and use it as a wash, paint it over the previous color we painted. Yo, it's your first highlight here. Go for Evelson Scarlet, go for your precise brush like size 1 or even 0 uh, with a long bristle. Mm, with a nice tip, it's also really important here. And using like a 45 degree angle, place the first highlight over the hair of the ponytail. Now we need a second highlight. Grab your Wild Rider Red and place the second highlight in the middle of the first you place. Using a good pointy brush again, 45 degree angle, only the sharpest edges. It's metal time. Grab lead belcher and using this one, paint the face mask on the helmet, some pipes in the back of the custodies, chains on Aquila and pipes between ADS and chest. Okay, our metal needs some wash, so grab the null oil and paint all the parts you painted in the previous step. It's time to paint some gems. So grab your Lothurn Blue, grab your Baharat Blue. I was also thinking about using Tarasal Blue, but later I just didn't. And also I just picked some Ivory from the Vallejo. Uh, and now using the Lothurn Blue, we base coating all the gems around the armor. Base coat is ready, now it's time for the first highlight. Grab your Baharat Blue and reduce the area that you paint to only 30, maybe 40% of the previously painted area and try to put it in the top corner of the painted uh, gem. So now I'm just picking the ivory from the Vallejo and I place a little dot in every gem so I make it a little bit brighter and making some interest on it. Now it's time to paint some leather. Grab Dumbo Brown and grab the Deathclaw Brown. So start with base coating all the leather parts using the Dumbo Brown. Okay, if you just base coat all the leather parts and it's fully dry, start applying null oil all over it. Okay, now we need to pick all the black parts in between the armor panels and stuff. So grab the Abaddon Black and paint stuff, armor joints and the cables next to the boots. Okay, time to paint some white. As you know probably, if you paint white you don't really paint white because it's hard to highlight white when it's already white. So we always 
working on some off-white colors. So grab your gray seal and base coat all the white parts on the parchment next to Aquila and the fancy rope in between his legs. I know this step is boring, but we're getting back to the null oil and paint all the previously painted parts using this one. Okay, it's a gloss varnish time. Our gem need to be shiny, so if you want to achieve this, take some uh, gloss varnish on a plastic card and apply it using your brush over the gems around the armor. Okay, let's get back to our white. Let's paint the first highlight on a rope and on a parchment using the Corax white. It's the second highlight time, so grab your white scar, it's even a brighter white, and paint only the small, small part of the previous highlight you painted. Okay, I almost forgot about the last highlight, so if you want to highlight your uh, all the little parts, use the Deathclaw brown and just paint all the edges of your brown and maybe paint some scratches here and there. If you finish painting all the parts, now it's time to assemble your miniature, put it on a base and then start playing.